here and welcome to today's video I'm super excited about this one so it's gonna be a wash and go whenever I come with soaking wet hair it's more than likely going to be a wash and go I picked up a product because of y'all okay y'all be blaming me for making y'all buy stuff which is true I I unfortunately do make y'all buy stuff bomb products by the way but y'all made me buy this I had no idea about this product until y'all were in the comments about it how to do my research. The product that I'm talking about is the Bomb Ass Fro Curl Defining Hair Jelly. In one of my previous wash and go videos, I was using the Big Papa Gel by The Do and you know, I was alluding to that gel or like a bomb gel that I was using and many of y'all thought it was this. And so once y'all saw the video, you were like, Oh, I could have sworn it was gonna be the bomb ass fro gel, bomb ass fro gel, and I'm like, what is that? So I did my research. I picked it up and we're gonna try it out for you today. But first, before we get into this wash and go and this review on the bomb ass fro hair jelly, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that notification bell. I post new videos twice a week on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So if you're subscribed, you don't hit that notification bell, then you won't miss another upload from me. So let's just go ahead and get into this wash and go cause I'm excited. So as always, my hair is already cleansed and conditioned and I even went in with my leave-in in the shower already. And the leave-in that I'm using today is the Honey's Handmade Coconut Water Leave-In Condition. One of my favorite leave-ins, it's, it's so good, so moisturizing, it has so much slip. I love it and like I mentioned, I went ahead and put it on while I was in the shower because I'm low porosity and the steam just helps allow the moisture and all the goodness from the leave-in to absorb and penetrate into my hair. As far as the instructions say and as far as the instructions say on the website, it doesn't mention anything about you should use a leave-in or that you shouldn't use a leave-in. So I was like, let me go on the safe side and just use a leave-in that is moisturizing. Y'all know that typically I like to add a cream, but this might be one of the more moisturizing gels. I'm not quite sure. It claims that there's no flaking, no crunch, lasting results. You're gonna have definition and the ingredients. Now y'all know typically with gels, gels most of the time are not natural products. And so a lot of these, ingredients I cannot pronounce but off of the top I noticed there is water there's glycerin glycerin is the second ingredient there's xanthan gum there's coffee seed extract Ooh, they definitely have the scientific names and not like the regular English names okay basically there's some glycerin and xanthan gum and some other ingredients I'll list the ingredients down in the description box for you all this is what the gel looks like it is clear it to me is more like a true gel texture I have a spray bottle full of warm water just in case my hair starts to dry out they do have very specific instructions it says to apply jelly between your palms and glide product onto freshly detangled and conditioned hair do that okay hold and definition okay i was not expecting that so i thought that it was going to feel basically like nothing on my hair but no y'all as soon as it touched my hair it felt like it instantly froze my curls in place look at that definition already i was not expecting that okay i also do feel some of the moisture kind of slipping away just a little bit my hair doesn't feel dry but it doesn't feel as moisturized as when i just had the leave-in only put a little bit on my roots not too much this is giving me like shingling type of results. Not really clumping. Yeah, this is giving me shingling for sure. I'm just gonna keep applying this and as I'm applying, I'm gonna give y'all more details about the product, about the brand, about the claims and all of that good stuff. But so far so good, I'm already shocked. <laughs> So if you go to the Bomb Ass Bros website, you'll see that this curl defining jelly 
is retailing for $16.99, tax included. So you just pay the $16.99 and the shipping. So they say that we swear on our curls, this is the best multi-use hair gel for black girl curls in the market. Whether you're looking to achieve the perfect wash and go or a twist out, use this and your hair will be hashtag bomb AF, we promise. So that's cool. They're saying that it could be used for twist outs as well. As far as the instructions go, I'll go into a little bit more detail. It says apply the jelly between your palms and glide product onto freshly washed, detangled, and conditioned hair. For best results, split hair into one inch sections, detangle, and apply the jelly to soaking wet curls. Diffuse or sit under a hooded dryer until hair is completely dry. I almost forgot to tell y'all the size of this jar. So it is a 10.5 fluid ounces of product for $16.99. And yes, this gel is black owned. The CEO, her name is Sydney and she's a native of New Orleans and she looks just like you and me, girl. Happy that this is a black owned brand. Love supporting black owned brands. Y'all already know that. We are done applying this Obama S Fro hair jelly to all of my hair. And this is what my hair is looking like. It is super duper defined. It looked like I took about 20 hours stitching on my hair and I didn't. I took about 30 minutes to apply all of this gel throughout my hair. Like it looks so good. I don't notice any weird mixing between this gel and the leave-in that I use. So, so far so good. The instructions do say to either diffuse or sit under a hooded dryer to dry your hair. And I don't diffuse. My hair doesn't really work out the way I want it to when I diffuse. So I will be sitting under a hooded dryer, but after I let this air dry a little bit, I just wanna fold up some laundry, you know. I'm, I'm always multitasking whenever I film these videos, so I'm gonna do that for a little bit and then I will sit under the dryer because I need my hair to be at least like 90% dry before I go to bed. I'll do the banding method and all that good stuff. That's what I typically do in order to stretch out my hair. If you're curious about my banding method, I have a whole detailed wash and go video as far as what I do from the start of my wash day all the way into day one of my wash and go I'll link that video in the cards for you if you're interested but it goes into detail about everything that I do technique is the same products just are switched up so I will see y'all tomorrow when my hair is dry and I'll give y'all my final thoughts on this bomb ass fro gel also I forgot to mention my hands are very sticky my hands are sticky but my hair doesn't feel sticky and my neck doesn't feel sticky. My face doesn't feel sticky, but my hands definitely feel sticky. So just want to let y'all know, but okay, I really will be gone and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hey y'all, today is day one of my wash and go. It is the next day and my hair is fully dry. It's been stretched out. It's been fluffed out and these are my final results. So before I give y'all like my final thoughts, I'm going to of course zoom in we'll actually just get really close to the camera and i'm going to show you what my hair looks like close up so this is what my hair looks like nice and defined you can see every single curl is defined same on this side every curl it's just super defined. Now, I don't know if it's just a viewfinder or how it's coming across on camera, but my hair kind of looks white, but there's no white cast or nothing on my hair. I will say that my hair looks a little bit duller to me than it does with some of my other gels when I do my wash and goes. It looked a little bit dull, but that's really like my only like qualm with this wash and go. So, as far as the claims, no flaking. I don't have any flaking. Every now and then I might see little particles, you know, float off into the air when I touch my hair, but nothing crazy. There's no serious flaking in my opinion. So I will say that there is no flaking, no crunch. I, for the most part, don't have a crunch. I did have a crunch like on the top of my hair, 
but I do remember adding a little bit more gel to um, this portion of my hair because I have like less definition in the front of my hair so sometimes I feel like I need to add more product in order to get my hair really defined up in the front so like this top layer feels not like crunchy but there's definitely a cast on it whereas the rest of my hair feels very soft it feels very soft so I would say that if you aren't heavy handed like super heavy handed then yes this is a no crunch lasting results I'm not quite sure because it's only day one but I am filming this later on in the day so it's about like 8 o'clock right now 8 p.m and I have gone out I actually went to the office today so I've been out in the heat for lunch I did go and walk and get lunch and then come back so this has been in some heat and some humidity and it is held up as far as how it will last during the week I will let y'all know um, in a little pinned comment down below because unfortunately this video got to go up tomorrow so I won't have time to really wear and test my hair out. It claims that it gives you definition. Well, we can see that my hair is super defined and like I mentioned before, this definitely gives me more of a shingled look which I'm not mad at. I do kind of prefer a more clumped look, but hey, if I can get a shingling look without actually shingling, I'm not mad at it. This combination seemed to work really well. I didn't use a lot of gel. I still have a bunch of gel left. As you can see, I probably use up to here. I do like this gel. I do like this gel. My hair doesn't feel like the most moisturized, but it doesn't feel dry either. So my hair does not feel super moisturized like a Camille Rose Curl Maker or a Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic. My hair definitely doesn't feel that moisturized, but my hair doesn't feel like a wet line extreme or like a eco styler gel. My hair doesn't feel like that. It's like right there in the middle. So I am definitely not mad at her. I think I am going to try next time with a cream underneath just to see if I can get a little bit more moisture. This video goes up today, well, the day that you're seeing it or the day that it's uploaded is Wednesday. So I'll try to come back Friday and give y'all my final thoughts. I don't know y'all, this uh, bomb ass fro little jelly or whatever, like, it's kind of bomb. It's kind of bomb. I'm not even going to lie. I, of course, will have this link down below in the description box. I did have to, like, sign up for some sort of, like, mailing list in order to get this. But I think they've increased their production where you can just go to their website and purchase it without, like, waiting for it to come in stock. So if it is in stock i will link it down below but i hope that y'all enjoyed this video i hope that y'all enjoyed this review and this wash and go i missed my hair y'all i really did miss my hair while it was in those knotless braids so i'm glad to be back if you have any questions or comments definitely leave them down below have you heard of the bomb ass fro gel i know many of y'all have because like i said that's how i found out but have most of you heard about it? Have you tried it before? Is it on your wish list? Let me know down below in the comment section. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, I'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of y'all watching. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!